Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on, uh, I gotta be honest, right out the gate, fairly reluctant purchase, but we're gonna take an honest look at the Void Build-A-Figure Waves Vision. Now, I love Vision, I also love the Vision figure that I've had on my shelf for quite some time. That's why this is a reluctant purchase. This might be an upgrade though, we'll see, and we'll talk about the figure a whole bunch, but first, we gotta hit that theme song. So not a lot of accessories, and he already looks like a larger figure from the last vision I have, or had, picked up. Anyway, you can see vision on the side right over there, and then on the back, yeah, get that same shot, just kind of zoomed out. There's a read-up over there. Before I read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. We get vision again right there, and we have a unique vision logo spot varnish on the top. Looking very cool. Looks MCU inspired, but still, I like it. And not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. It be big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> so here's Vision out of the packaging, and it's not a bad Vision figure. You know, it's we, we got a reused body mold over here that works with this character, and I do like the head sculpt, and we get a decent number of accessories. Nothing really incredible like the stuff that we saw with the Marvel Select version. You know, it would have been nice to see some of that. But anyway, let's get a little close look. We'll talk about those we'll talk about the accessories that we'll talk about the accessories that do come with this figure in a minute. But first let's get a closer look. <laughs> So for me, the highlight of this figure is this head sculpt, and it looks fantastic. I love the photoreal tech that they're using on these comic figures. I've been wanting them to do this ever since they introduced that technology to their MCU figures, and seeing this black paint mixed in here and all these creases, I love this head sculpt, man. It just looks phenomenal. Now, yeah, a little bit of extra red on that seam, maybe, so... Not pull, yeah, see this side, it looks all nice and perfect. This side, not all perfect. So yeah, it's not perfect. But the treatment of this paint right here on the face, it just looks great. I wanted to compare it to some other head sculpts. Now, this is the competitor for the spot on the shelf. And I really do like the shiny vision right here from the retro card wave from a few years back. But I wanted to show off those two head sculpts side by side. And then we have the Marvel Select head sculpt right here both of them looking very good i really like this head sculpt as well and then we have the toy biz marvel legends vision right over there so some really good head sculpts a uh, really nice cape too this looks like a brand new cape i don't remember seeing it before so that works for vision you know it's very stiff cape no paint on it or anything so nothing with any kind of the love and care put into the head sculpt is put onto the cape and i would have to say the same for the rest of the figure we have the vulcan body mold over here uh, just painted on logo right there there on the chest you still have the gloves and everything you can see the paint right here on the forearm looks a bit off just a little bit with that spike coming up right there so you know it's you can see the seam for the he's got two glove seams basically and that looks pretty bad so there that is but i do like the pinless joints but i just kind of wish they maybe redone the forearm he does come with interchangeable hands so you get relaxed hands as well as the pair of fist hands right over there i wish he had you know maybe some beam accessories or something like that to go along with it uh, the paint looks pretty clean you know the stripes do move almost all the way through they do stop a little bit right there but i don't know if you're tilting it up like that eh, it's still a little gappy then there's the back of the figure, and he does have a port for that cape to go in. I do feel like the way it bends in right here is a little bit frustrating to work with because I feel like it... We'll say I don't really like the way it bends in right here in the middle because it does hinder the articulation a little bit. Like, I feel like he does get stuck with his back against the wall when I'm posing him around. So that could be frustrating, but yeah. The, the figure itself looks okay. I like the Vulcan body mold for the most part. It's just it's just that I feel like there's not a whole lot going on with the figure. You know, you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. There you go. Now, to measure out this Vision figure, you can see that he is standing at about uh, just a little over six and a half inches tall. And I'm not going to give you guys a thorough articulation segment. You guys know how this Vulcan body mold works. I do 
intend to try to clip those mushroom pegs in there to maybe get a little bit more range of movement, but the cape is a bit restricting. So when you pose the figure around, you, you will definitely feel that. Uh, the head will look up quite a bit. It has the neck hinge in there still, so you can get him into flying poses. So he does pose pretty well. And then for your vision comparison, you can see we have the Toy Biz Marvel Legends vision, and then we have the Retro Card vision from Hasbro, and then we have the Marvel Select vision right over here. And I do think the colors are a bit off right here on the Marvel Select Vision, but I do like the shadowing on the yellow and the green portions. Same thing with the Toy Biz version. I do think this looks better. I would have liked to have seen that same kind of black wash over the green on this figure. That would have made it pop a bit. I really like this metallic looking Vision. It's one of the best demonstrations of Hasbro using a metallic figure without having weird marbling throughout. Like that whole upper torso right there looks really good. And yeah, I, I think I want to keep him on the shelf. I don't know, but this does look pretty good too. I do want to see some head swaps though. If that could fit on there and look pretty cool, I may keep it that way. I don't know. Hey, that actually works out pretty well. Um, I may keep it looking like that, even though the head does look a little bit big and I know the head isn't shiny as the rest of the body is, or it's just not, but I don't know. That doesn't look bad. That scale's okay. This looks actually kind of cool too, but not as cool as this. And swapping the select head on there is going to look really weird. Yeah, it's not going to pour it on there, and that looks way too big. Oh, but seeing it on this, yeah, same deal. It, it, it just looks way too big and weird. But new head with the shiny retro card body, that looks like that may be the display piece for me. I don't know, I'm liking it. And then here's Vision next to Papa. We got the Ultron uh, from the what, Ultra uh, Quantumania wave. And then we have the retro Scarlet Witch figure right over here. These two look Look really good side by side. I do like how they look. Then here's Vision next to another figure utilizing this Vulcan body mold. We have Black Panther, and I can't believe they've already released another Black Panther for this Void Build-A-Figure wave. I'm just really not excited about that figure, but I will review it, so stay tuned. Just not soon. I, I want to look at some of the other figures from the wave first. And then here's Vision next to the other two figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have Crystar and Power Princess. And I did get asked by Frecky, and I'm sure some of you wondered why I didn't compare Crystar next to other Iceman figures. It's because I lost my bag of Icemans, damn it, and I found my bag of Icemans. Then here's Vision next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Whoa, so you got the power of the sun in the palm of your head? <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you do all the things by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button. I have more reviews coming your way. I got an unboxing video tomorrow that I'm pretty excited to share with you guys. So yeah, definitely want to hit that subscribe button. And uh, this vision figure is okay. You know, like if you need a vision figure in your collection, you're going to be happy as hell with it, man. You're not going to have a problem with this. I think it's a pretty solid figure. Yeah, there are some hindrances with the articulation uh, with the cape, like even turning the head side to side could be just a tad annoying but you know with those little gripes it's not ruining the figure for me man if you really need a vision figure this will be a great vision for you to have i just think i like the metallic look a little bit more who knows i might change my mind later but this is definitely a figure i feel i did not need to pick up i really got it for the build a figure pieces so i'm really not that excited to have it i do like the new head sculpt probably take advantage of that new head sculpt and put it on the older figure but yeah uh, for me at the price point of 25 bucks i'm gonna give this vision figure a sud rating of it's not so bad and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. we got a giveaway this Thursday, so make sure you be there. Links are in the description below, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.